All right, if you guys remember uh, a few videos back, we downloaded some USGS topographic maps. Today we're going to geo-reference those maps in QGIS. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, what I'll do is I'm going to just add in one of these maps, and I have this uh, USGS quad map from 1989. And let's just add it to QGIS and take a look at it. Now notice I've added this raster version of the map. Um, and there's a, you can add it as a raster or as a vector PDF. We want to add it as a raster. So there's my map. If we zoom in, we can see the, the features here. And what we're really interested in is we're going to be interested in these corner tick marks and this, this information down here. Okay. So now the first thing we'll do, or the second thing, we already did the first thing out of the data in. Um, but I'm going to remove this now because we're going to want to add this into the georeferencer. So I'm just going to remove this for now. Uh, remove the layer. That's okay. And I'm going to go to raster georeferencer. Okay. And this is where I can georeference an image. So I'm going to add a raster in. I want to go back to this is my downloads. And I have a lot of files in here right now. Where did it go? There we go. And it's this geo PDF right here. So let's click open. And it should zoom to that. Let's give it just a second here. There it is. Oh, oh sorry, I added the wrong one in. So let's see, we need to remove this. Okay, so let's go file. Reset. Okay. Oh, and we maybe should add a new raster. Let's just add the correct one, which is going to be 1989. Open that. Let's give that just a second to open here. Okay, so now we have that open. So let's go ahead and zoom in on a corner down here. This gives me the information. Okay, we're specifically going to want these tick marks. And then I'm going to want to add a control point. And so what adding a control point does is we have the corner coordinates here. Uh, 38, 730. 97.15 and what we can do with this is tell QGIS that the point on this map should correspond to these coordinates. Simple enough, right? So what we'll do is we have this uh, little the crosshair we're just going to line up on this grid uh, on this tick mark. So this tick mark is for the NAD83 datum which is what we'll georeference it to. So I'm going to click on there, and I have an X east and a Y north. Okay, and so I need to figure out what these coordinates are. They need to be in decimal degrees. All right. Um, so we can, I guess we can actually enter these in um, degrees, minutes, and seconds. So let's give that a try. So we'll go our X coordinate. Uh, is east and we're in the west. So we're going to do negative 97.15. Our y is north, so we're going to do um, 38.07.30. And we'll click OK. All right, so we've added that in. And now we're going to pan over to the other corner. And we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to click on that tick mark right there and my east is going to be negative 970730 and my north is going to be 380730 say okay and then we're going to pan up to the top here And do the same thing on this corner. So we'll zoom in just a hair so it's a little easier. Click 
click on that so my east is negative 970730 I guess I'm supposed to put a decimal in there uh, that should be okay and my north is 3815 3815 and we'll say okay there and then let's pan over to our last corner we'll add this final control point click it right there and we've got negative 97 15 38 15 okay all right so now we've got our coordinates entered in and I guess I should have made the point that uh, this map is in Kansas I believe it is should be able to yep so we're in Kansas here in this area of Kansas and I just download this randomly but now what we should be able to do is we should uh, we don't want to move we want to transform it but before we transform let's check our settings um, so our transformation type uh, we have a, a number of different options here we have resampling method um, we have our output raster location, so you're going to want to make sure you choose a, a good place for this. Um, compression, and then we can generate these others here. We can load it in QGIS. I'm going to say I want to load it in QGIS, and we need to make sure we give it a projection. And so I'm going to do NAT83 because that's what I geo referenced it to. Um, if you do it right on the corners to the tick marks, that's going to be NAD27. Okay. We need to give it a transformation type. We'll just go with the linear transformation. Um, depending on the map you're doing, you're going to want to um, uh, research what's going to be best for you. So this is going to save it as a TIFF image, which I'm okay with. We'll, we'll leave it at that. And so we'll load it in QGIS, and I'll say OK here. And now I can go to File and say Start Georeferencing. Right, so I don't know how long this is going to take. Hopefully not too long. I'm going to pause the video and turn it back on when it's done. Oh, it's done already, so I'm not going to do that actually. All right, so that just got added into QGIS. We can see our layer here. Now, let's check and uh, make sure this worked out properly. So I'm going to go in to my browser. And I'm going to go to XY. Let's just add in Google Maps and see where this lines up. Make sure we're all good here. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom out and make sure we're in Kansas, first of all. So we are in Kansas, definitely a good start. And you'll notice that as I hover over these corners, uh, my coordinates down here are going to line up. So that's a really good thing. Okay, so now I can zoom in on our map. See if you can find some features. There's a little water feature here see if that still exists um, we'll just I'm going to close the GRF well we'll leave it open I'm going to turn that off we're not seeing it there I'm going to go into my browser and add in the Google hybrid actually and we'll turn off maps and we'll slide hybrid underneath all right so you can see this water feature here and when this map appears back up, I think it's going to overlay it. Okay, yep, and there you go. So you can see that. So we can do, see what else we've got. If there's anything else that looks exciting here. Got the creek. This might not be the most exciting quad to look at. Um, I'm going to turn the hybrid off just so that it's easier to navigate around here. We've got pipelines. 
look like roads and railroad tracks. Let's zoom in on the roads and we'll see what it looks like there. So we'll turn the hybrid back on. Let's go ahead and turn that off and sure enough, we've got these roads showing up right as they should. So there you go. That's how you can geo-reference the map. Um, pretty simple process. Uh, so hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions or anything else you want to see in QGIS, please leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.